Okay, all right, we will call to order at 6 30. Uh, the planning commission for April 3rd. Uh, we will do our roll call. So, Commissioner Aaron Hathak. Present. Uh, Commissioner Wilkers. Present. Commissioner Carrera. Present. Carrera. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Commissioner Fitzgibbon. Present. And Commissioner White. And Commissioner Mo is not present. <laughs> Uh, so first we'll look at the approval of minutes from March 6th, 2024. Are there any changes or we a motion to those? Thank you much, Chair Crew. It's the meeting minutes from March 6th. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, hey, we'll move on to item number three, the opportunity for public comment on non-agenda items. Uh, there is no one present here, and uh, we did receive an email. Do you want to go over that right now, or um, is it a non-agenda item? So there was... I mean, we received it, so that's... Right, we really received it. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'll just make a note that we received an email for a non-agenda item that will come on the agenda in the future. Okay, uh, so I'll open the public hearing at 6.32. No one is present, so I will also close the public hearing at 6.32. There's no more comment. That's fine. Great. Um, I was requested a conversation, so and then we'll move on to item number four, the non-conforming NBNC code and then the introduction. I'll um, turn so it over to staff to. Great, thank you. Um, this is actually a pretty simple amendment to our non-conforming code. We are proposing to change the allowable time for someone to rebuild after um, a non-conforming structure is damaged by fire or other calamity for 12 months to 24 months. So it's as simple as that. Um, we have found that 12 months is actually pretty difficult to deal with insurance. Contractors are pretty scarce right now. So we are asking for this change. This is in relation to the order. It's it's a whole code change. So it's not necessarily specific to anyone, but it has come up recently and very specific to a, a property. But um, I mean, we try not to. Maybe post page specific yeah. to any one person, but yes. Comments is true. Yeah. Are there any other questions for staff? Or maybe we'll turn back to just discussion. Uh, I'll open the public hearing for this at 6.33. So if there's no public hearing, we will close the public hearing. Um, and we'll go around. Are there any other comments on this? And I think it provides a little bit more flexibility for residents that are impacted by changes. So it's a good, good call. Uh, that's uh, how long does it typically take to find a contractor or like work out insurance? Is that is that the main basis for, for this change? You know, it, it, obviously it's going to be a case by case basis. Um, it's 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 hard to say. I know that. You know, I think dealing with this one, you know, you gotta find someone to job plan, you gotta find someone, you know, each insurance is gonna be different, I assume, depending on this specific reason or issue you had as well with, with how, you know, the property was destroyed, it's gonna also have an impact. So it, it's hard to say, you know, what, what could cause an issue. I haven't, honestly, and, and the many years I've run into this, I have not had too big of an issue with the 12 month process, but even me finding a contractor to do something small since COVID has been a problem. So it, it's something newer that's, that's come up more. So I think in the next 12 months hopefully is sufficient. Okay. And then is there a reason to do a code change versus like a board of adjustment case, like have it case by case basis if it's going beyond? I, yeah, I think that I think everyone agrees that 24 months is, is 
makes sense for a lot of reasons, but that's why we brought it forward, not just for one person, but that it made sense just around, but, you know, for everyone. It didn't make sense just to try and get one person, and it, you know, one, but it made sense, you know, so it was something that, hey, if this makes sense, why aren't we just doing it for everybody instead of trying to do it just for one person? Right. I mean, when it is a word that just indicates it can be a little bit more spotty, so that's true. Um, yeah, I like that you included signs. That's helpful. And right, right, exactly. uses. Yeah, well, if there's any no more discussion, I think we're just waiting for a motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. We will go forward. We provide a motion. Same. Okay, we will go on to item number five, the utilities element introduction. Ooh. All right, so this is a part of our <clears throat> major 2024 comprehensive plan. This is a pretty simple amendment, though, and we'll pass around uh, copies of the update. So I emailed you on um, Monday. Mm -hmm. It's a minor update. I'll we'll make sure you got that. So what this covers is our franchise utilities. <laughs> Franchise utilities are utilities provided not by the city, but by others. So it's natural gas, electric, power, and uh, telecommunications. And what the Growth Management Act requires is that we provide an inventory of those services within North End, and just kind of basic information about their, their plans for uh, capacity. And so we updated the outdated information from 2015 to provide uh, current information, I reached out to Puget Sound Energy, Canada Electric, and uh, also our, our new garbage service with um, waste, but uh, oh, ecology. <laughs> and uh, they've provided some updates to us that I've worked into the draft here. Uh, just to note a couple of things that were not in your original packet on the first page. Um, page two of your packet. Um, cross off a WAC reference there that no longer applies. That provision of the WAC was rescind rescinded by the state. So the only reference there is then 3678-070 GMA requirements to chart it up the requirements for utilities only, which we summarized below. Um, Thank you, everyone, this week. Yeah, I'm still want to say that how 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 to what how why climate policy. So this is CWPP or CPP. I'm not saying say it can be referred to either way. Uh, you can refer to because uh, I think it's third time third time. CPPs yeah. provide and then continue with CW. Oh, I see that. Yeah, I was kind of oh, it's the same thing. I made I yeah, it's the same thing. So I'll I'll make those consistent. <laughs> I have a question too, if you want to, to get to it, it's on page <laughs> 11 of the revised statement. It's passed out. I have a question if this makes sense, but this is real. That it's ecology transfers to Bellevue, which then transfers back to Cedarville Mountain. It seems like a trip that goes out to film and comes back. Am I misunderstanding? What is the Cedar Hills? Cedar Hills Landfill is the, the regional facility. Where is that? In, is that the one located here? I think that's in Newcastle. Okay, thank you. That's me. That's here. Thank you. I want to make sure I didn't have a problem. Same like it's taking a big trip. Yeah, I'm not Cedar Falls. Thank you. Cedar. Okay. That's, that's me. That's, I don't know anything. So, okay. Sorry. Okay. okay. Um, the other primary update since the packet went out was regarding the telecommunications and previously, you know, back before 2015, it was a lot easier just to say that cable company and the telephone company, um, as technology emerges, it's no longer quite as categorized. So there's multiple 
um, telecommunications companies. Hi. Hi. Is this the planning meeting? Yes. Want to sit in and all? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. So we've passed the public comment period, but if you have a comment, you can open that back up. I was just hoping to open my ears. Okay. <laughs> so that's yeah. a little fly on the wall. <laughs> So the, the language that we got there, um, we actually got a lot of that just out of the Maple Valley comp plan that was addressing the same issue in the utilities element. So just recognizing the convergence of those technologies and it's a, it's a lot of providers providing a lot of what we services. And so rather than trying to get into exactly who's doing what, we provided more of a broad statement that technology has evolved and there's multiple service providers. The primary cable, um, like in the ground cable, Franchise still is Comcast, and they're the only one that actually had a franchise agreement with the city. I believe the other franchise utilities that didn't have agreements with Comcast to utilize that fiber optic network that they have the And that's on page nine of the traffic. Then we talked a little bit about solid waste already on updating that to reflect our current contract with Tricology. We have not proposed any revisions to the goals and policies. Those are just basic goals about coordination of service, um, co-locating facilities, providing some screening when we've got utility facilities that go in. Um, so we didn't really see any provided amendments there. So a big thank you to James. James provided a lot of the input here for the tenor of Definitely appreciate that. And so with these edits, um, we recommend that. You provide a recommendation with approval of the case. Uh, the technician have any questions for staff? I'm going to ask my question. So, yeah, I have a general question. Light within the gas section that described gas was delivered. You know, on that, I, you know, I would like to, I would like something similar for electricity delivery, just because it's interesting. But uh, if you don't want to take the time to add it in, then it's fine. And maybe get rid of the gas stuff because I mean it's interesting, but I don't know if it really provides. Yeah, we actually had more in there about some of the substation stuff and distribution stuff. Um, James had a really good comment actually recommending that we take some of the more detailed information out. Yeah, because yeah, it's a little bit yeah, I'm subject to people that might have the various purposes. Yeah, I think it's more how it's delivered, like you know, with the gas line it says, oh, it's gathered here and it's pumped to. You know, eight to twenty inch mains, which then go down here. If there, if there's going to be a backlog, and they run a double main, you know, it's highly specific, which was interesting. And I was just thinking it'd be nice to have something similar. Oh, okay. yeah. You know, it comes off the, the generator at some only falls, and it comes out, you know, this voltage, and then gets downstepped, you know, by a transformer. You know, at sub at something called substation, and explain what that actually is, and then you know they talked. I think there was talks about adding uh, not triggers. Switching stations, what is that? It'd be cool. I don't know. It could be too much extra work. What I'm saying is like it'd be cool if it's parallel, but if not, maybe just take the gas stuff out or just leave it as is. <laughs> yeah. I think that's interesting too. My only question is, you know, as this is a um conference of plan update, is it gonna get outdated too fast? Mm -hmm. I don't think so, so to that point, I think you think you could definitely do something that's uh not site specific. Yeah. And still retain the security. Uh, I think what I, what I removed a lot of in, from the old plan was that site specific stuff because we've been seeing a lot of that lately mm -hmm. nationally. Um, so that was a focus, but for sure, like a generic way that would make sense. Um, it might not be as specific as like locations you can in Washington, but we can definitely back and press them out. Yeah, I might need your help on that. Yeah, you're it's going to be a lot more expert. <laughs> yeah. um, I did a question on natural gas. Section on page eight of the right line that you just passed out, the very last paragraph. In the franchise agreements, PSA, PSE, excuse me, are required to relocate the existing facilities. I don't know what that means. I got to fight it right in the last page. Sorry. The latest page, page 15 of the front line that you passed out, the number of page. Which paragraph? Yeah, these are required to relocate the facilities. Are you talking about? Yeah, is, is that is that important? I don't know what it means. Yeah. 
Is it just one of the type of language? You have one of the type of language. Yes, and it's a pretty good degree to a recent Tanner case and the city needs to put it for everybody else. That's right, so typically states that the city, when they make upgrades or something, does something, um, the utility has to move their equipment out of the way. Okay. And so sometimes that looks like someone paying for that, sometimes it looks like the utility on there if it, if it comes to the city. So, sorry. So maybe that's the end there too. Probably that sense to clarify a little bit more when construction projects require upgrades. I think that'd be helpful. Thank you. Appreciate that. It, it kind of says that the CNC makes an effort to coordinate construction work, but yeah, okay. Yeah. Just to seem like for me, it was floating out there. Like, yeah. How they're going to do it. Back to the point that he raised, uh, we know how does it work, where we, how do, do we receive the gas from budget sound to the middle? How we receive yes. it? Yeah, we have like a main pipe and then it's distributed, like, or do we have a buffer? How, how is the system work? I don't know. Oh, well, this is yes. Yes. No. No. I can tell you everything about the electrical or not. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just out of curiosity, I don't know that it belongs here, but I'm just wondering does any development or does anyone in the city try to encourage or recruit more internet options? More what that internet. Oh, sorry. Because we only have contacts, right? Uh -huh. That's not something a city our size typically addresses. I know but for cities like the city of Tacoma actually has set up a municipal broadband service okay. as a economic development tool. Maybe a future. Uh, interesting question, though, because it's going to become a bigger issue. Right. Well, newer developments definitely have access to both centered in quantum fiber. We have a uh, close to our address of standard telephones. There is like a central link, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, equipment there, but they didn't uh, go inside. And... <laughs> yeah, so close. Oh, yeah, more and more on kind of the cell service for the internet. No, yeah, a general question on how electrical use as we see the. Increase in population and the push towards using electrical devices and equipment versus gas powered. Mm -hmm. Gas powered for, for vehicles is usually uh, gasoline. But is there any place for us as a city to work with electrical companies to, to plan for capacity for an increase of things like chargers and zones? Yeah, so we work with that. I mean, the building code, you know, through the state and everything. Because obviously there's different legislation that's going through about you know changes and requirements per house and you know whether gas is coming through and stuff like that. So you know there's there's different at a state level, that's not necessarily okay. the city level, but I just know it's on the horizon in this it's definitely legislation we recently approved on that. I don't think these major large companies are going to put that up. No, no, I am. Um, regarding the electric, is there like a clear delineation between like where Tanner Electric and where PSC serves? Yes. It's, it's not a neat boundary. Okay. Yes, they do. Have do we have like a visual map that is accessible for people? I don't have that. So, I, I actually, I didn't even know that Tanner Electric operated on the site of the North Bend. So I got, I, I was like, oh, really? And he's like, who cares? But tell me that. But uh, right. if it is an inaccessible map, I think it would be neat to, to leak it. If not, I don't think that's a you know, critical piece of information. But as people, you know, look around, it's a whole visual map. Now, electrical does have service agreements, so service area agreements. So like, we have an agreement with PSE that it has a defined boundary. With internet, you don't have it. Yeah, but they, they can intermix quite a bit. And it just has to do with the way the lines run. Really. That makes it a lot harder to do that. Is it a simple enough map that we could provide something in here? Or is it, I know that the lines go all over the place. It's not a. Uh, would, would it be a problem to show that map in our content to show Panel Electric PSC? Do you have an issue with us showing that? It depends. It's, it's a question of zoom, of zoom ability. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, I, like, it'd be like a zone. Yeah, we'd be able to get that. It depends on the parcel. Like, if some of the parcels would be kind of tough to get that line. Like, you definitely provide the line. 
I just don't know how that blows on complex. Yeah, I don't think we need to get that specific. Okay. So okay. if you provide an MRK, that's create yeah. an easy map and put it in there. You guys want to see it added? Okay. How does Waters um, uh, qualify as it's not a public utility? It's not a utility here. It's a utility, but it's a utility. Yeah, it goes under. It, I'm still working on the uh, that's under the capital facilities element that we that will come to you that will later. All right, just have so much to learn. So I don't understand. Yeah, system element hasn't come to you yet. Maybe we'll pause for a moment and we'll open a public hearing. So at six fifty, we'll open a public hearing. Do you have any questions or comments? Oh, um, <laughs> well, I'm Doug Lorenz. Please be here. Uh, I guess my only question with utilities is sewer capacity. Thank you. They're running maybe eight inch mains, up main roads are four inch. Uh, are you all sewer or do you do, you don't do step? Right? That's so, so, yeah, it's going to be considered with our, our capital facilities element of our companies. And this, this element itself, the utilities element, is just addressing franchise utilities. So, power, gas, electric utilities that are provided by other service providers. Okay. okay. But to answer your question, we require sewer service throughout the city for new residential um, and commercial. There's limited exceptions when you're beyond a certain distance from an existing sewer line. In that case, residential, single family only in New South. Gotcha. I think that concludes the public hearing. <laughs> Um, so, it's, it's typical protocol. Also, if you're providing any comments, provide your address. Provide your address. Yeah, 4543, 193rd place, southeast. Thank you. Thank you. So at 652, we'll close the hearing on this item. And we're going to turn to the commission to discuss right here. Uh, yeah, one thing. Uh, and what we found two times in a row is this idea of utilities being an unclear uh, term, meaning mm -hmm. it's like we have two people in South Falls and do not realize that water is not considered a utility. Can we rename this or put a little like for Yeah, maybe, maybe we could call it the franchise utility zone, a little bit more clear. Yeah. I think that I was really in the back of my mind. I kept thinking, hey, but when is they going to say that we're going to try to underground something? <laughs> and I, I finally got to the goal of the computer. To be fair, the first sentence says GMA defines electricity, gas, telecommunications, and cable as utilities. So it, the first sentence says that defines utilities. So we try and yeah. Call it out right away, but if there's not a problem putting it and trying to put it in the titles so when people get to it, they look like they look for franchise and social use. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are there any other comments or questions for the commission? Just kind of say thank you for preparing this at the date. I'll copy for us again, sure. That was very helpful. Uh, minor thing in the system on page three. Uh, so the majority of electricity users in Denmark, then uh, PSC serves the majority of users with approximately 2,000 customers. And we have a population of 8,000 people. Yeah, that's another one that should go away. Um, we tried to get rid of any specific data like that that becomes dated after a year. So, <laughs> Thank so you. we did 10 cents at North Bend Net. Um, and then on page seven, uh, well, the last step is right above the net of gas section. I just think it's a big thing. It says it's likely that it's not only one better than using a different substation of people transformer as an existing substation after 44. Uh, James, you have a suggestion on that line? No, it's just existing text that we haven't updated. This piece of 2020 reference there. And Assuming PSC reviewed this and they didn't comment on that, presumably it's still a need. 
Um, yeah, that's going to be the PC one because we we mentioned. Yeah, you're talking about land use transfer station. Well, other transfer additional transfer substation. Right, but uh, above it, they're talking about PSE stuff, so the two paragraphs above. Yeah, so yeah. I missed that because I didn't look at PSE. I can just say in the near future. Yeah, sure. You know, I mean, you might want to reach out to them and see if they do have plenty. I don't know one. Yeah. yeah. And if they read it and left it, maybe they do have a plan. Yeah, actually, yeah, I made a good review on like the blue red that you see right below that later comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can send it back. Yeah. I went it. We have additional. Yeah. 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 Are there questions or comments before we take the motion? Uh, one more. One okay. more question. So, so like the goals here, I mean, do they carry any actual weight, or do the franchise agreements outline what sort of demand of the utilities are dispersed? Like, yeah, so the, 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 the franchise agreements govern the use of the right of way. So that authorizes them to use our right of way for their services. The goals and the policies speak more to development. So like the undergrounding, we use the goal of the basis for specific regulations that require undergrounding in certain circumstances. Like if, if the front of a property is greater than it's like 400 feet or something like that, then undergrounding is required. So this is the, the basis that provides the support for that regulation. So we've got similar things with like landscaping or utility facilities. Um, I have to look through, but these then form the basis for our Okay. Awesome. Well, we need a motion. Is that next week? Or I'll continue to present next week. Can we bring that? Oh, yeah, I've got some language to. Okay, it's fine. Okay. All right. So, so why do we make a follow-up just because you know, it's the 17th? Because you would ask for approval, so we'll just make questions. Yep. All right, I can make a follow-up. Put you on the 17th. Second. Second. Aye. 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 And I think that's it. So we will adjourn the meeting at 6.57. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you.